Things can happen fast in the car industry, but rarely do they happen this fast. You've probably heard the story by now. In 2016, ruining the demise of the Land Rover Defender and Jaguar Land Rover's decision to replace it with something more oat automotive, chemical engineering billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe, while in the pub, sketches the outline of a spiritual successor to the famous off-roader. The difference is that Ratcliffe isn't dreaming. For years later, the newly formed Ineos Automotive Company had physical prototypes, an incipient manufacturing chain of command and, most importantly, somewhere to actually build the finished product. Just 18 months after that, in the here and now, it's almost time to start full-scale production. And all this against the backdrop of you-know-what. The factory is what cements Ineos as a serious entity and is why we're now in eastern France, not far from Strasbourg. While the idea that Ineos was able to buy Mercedes-Benz's smart manufacturing Hambart plant in December 2020 and simply begin building Grenadier off-roaders is a nice one, it's also nonsense. The factory's 1,000-strong workforce, the majority of whom are veterans, having stuck around since the initial Smartville staff intake of 1998, is highly dependable. And the brand new paint shop, which was part of a 470 million euro upgrade that Mercedes only recently lavished on the plant in anticipation of full-scale EQA and EQB electric crossover production and is where enormous emu feather brushes sweep dust from freshly minted bodies, is state-of-the-art. The Grenadier will even use the same lines as the smart cars, but therein lay the problem for Ineos's manufacturing team when it gained the keys to the place, at the infamous expense of a much-anticipated new-build plant in Bridgend, South Wales. The Grenadier is 5 metres long and weighs 2,600 kilograms, attempting to build one, and, Ineos hopes, eventually more than 30,000 annually, on lines designed for something half as long and a third as heavy would result in carnage. So what exactly has happened to give this remote factory an unexpected new lease of life? Quite a bit. Ineos has already spent 50 million euros on Hambach and is currently in the PT-01 stage of its manufacturing plan. That stands for production tryout 1, which is when the raw processes are put in place without any time constraints.